Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great night. Uh, I just got over here to Rossville and um, checking on the garden and I just thought that I would share some of the cool things that, um, where the garden's at and some awesome things that have popped up. Um, so, we planted um, several things this year, some from seeds, some from starters. And then we also had a lot of volunteer, um, which I really like. And the we did a starter, uh, the cilantro, and um, we've done some harvesting off of it, but it has gone to seed now. I don't know if you can see that. You can still like come in here and get some of the leaves off here and eat these. Um, still really good if you like cilantro. I know it's really a, a hit or miss um, flavor for people, but. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, cilantro and coriander seed are actually the same plant. And so these little seeds, it's not quite time to harvest them yet because we need to wait until more of them have turned um, a slightly different color. You can see the ones here um, are turning a little bit more. So we need to wait until more of these have turned. But they're getting close, and I hope that I don't miss it. Um, and, um, so, I love, love, love coriander seed. It is one of the, um, spices that they use in pickles, like true pickles. So, um, and, uh, just, it's such, such a good spice. My mother wart is doing awesome. Shout out to the herbalists, right? And my calendula is kind of up and my yarrow is doing great. Now. I have to show you, because I'm really excited, my borage just, she just went mad. Look at that. Look at all that beautiful borage. And those gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. And we know that when we eat the, when we eat the flowers, they, they make us brave and lion-hearted, and they taste really good too. So, but I am pretty annoyed at this exact moment because the Japanese beetles have just taken over. First they were on the zinnias, which I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. But then they started having their little beetle orgies on my borage, and they have started just to take things down. But I'm not even joking when I talk about, look at this. See that right there? Disgusting. Because of what they're doing to the plants. So, um, I have my fennels doing great, my dill's doing awesome, but I wanted to talk about the, the volunteers. Now, look at this guy here, and I want you to check out the stem. This is when I start really nerding out. Look at how huge that thing is. It's like a little tree. So we call this, us herbalists call this, um, this would be a grandfather plant. Um, I know that it's a sunflower, but it actually planted itself in the middle of the garden and it is like um, being the, the guardian, the elder plant of, of the garden. So it's exciting. I can't wait to see how high this one's gonna get and when it's gonna bloom. Um, and then, the other little shout out that I have to my fellow herbalists is, <laughs> guess who decided that they just had to grow in the garden? See what we got going on here? That's right. Our favorite um, helpful poison poke plant. So I have a nice big poke that is growing on the edge, which is good, the edge of my garden. And um, it's okay because we don't have any kids, so I don't have to worry about anyone nibbling on berries. But uh, I just thought that that was so funny. You know, as an herbalist, you have plants that will just pop up and grow and they decide yes I want to be in your garden and Polk decided that I wanted to be in my garden so anyway I hope you guys are having a great night um, I also hope your tomatoes are turning because ours are not and I know that a lot of people's aren't um, turning yet but they will eventually alright I'm going to continue just hanging out here and maybe trying to uh, I don't know, wrangling these beetles. I don't know what I'm going to do about them, but all right. Have a good night. Bye.